Please rise for a moment of silence to be followed by the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, BHS. I'm Trace Vanable. And I'm Eden Savoy. And, and welcome, welcome to Bash, Bash TV. TV. Today is Tuesday, January 18th, making today the official 94th day of school and day two of the cycle. The lunch menu for today will be chicken cheesesteak, peas, fruit, and milk. The breakfast menu for tomorrow will be goodie ring, fruit, assorted juice, and milk. Congratulations to the January students of the month, Isabella Ambrosino, Braden Boone, and Kelsey Green. Report cards will be distributed in homerooms on Thursday, January 20th. The next SAT testing date is March 12th, registered by February 11th on the College Board website. Seniors, the PACAC scholarship is now available to high school seniors. Selection criteria includes academic performance with a minimum GPA of 3.0, financial need, commitment to furthering your post-secondary education, and a member of your school counseling office must be a member of the PACAC. The deadline to apply is February 1st. That's it for the main desk. Now let's hear from Connor with sports. Thanks, Trace and Eden. I'm O'Connor. Let's take a look at the scores from Thursday and the sports for tonight. On Thursday, in boys' swimming, Borwick got a pair of runner-up finishes from Thomas Andrews and Ethan DePippa. In girls' swimming, Borwick won nine events with Madeline Fry winning two individual events and two relays, and Carly Kyle winning the 100 breast and all three relays. In boys' basketball, Sean Murphy netted a team-high 14 points, and Billy Hansen and Ryan Steele contributed eight points apiece in a loss to Crestwood. For tonight's sports, boys' varsity basketball is home with Hazleton at 7.30 p.m. Boys Junior High Basketball is home with Hazleton at 4.30 p.m. Girls Varsity Basketball is away with Hazleton at 7.15 p.m. Girls Junior High Basketball is away with Hazleton at 4.30 p.m. Now over to FYI with Brandon to see what's happening around BHS. Thanks, Connor. I'm Brendan. Let's get started with FYI. Seniors, the yearbook is looking for your senior siblings, senior best friends, and then and now pictures. Please send your submissions to Miss Mowry. Seniors, if you are interested in healthcare as a career, there is an amazing opportunity for you. The Center for Independent Living certifies individuals as direct care workers. Sign up in the guidance office for this free workshop to be held on Wednesday, February 2nd, from 9 a.m. to 3.30 p.m. at the high school, and you will be certified to work for home care agencies. Students will leave the clearances with medical screening and CPR certifications. You must be 17 years old to take the training and 18 to secure employment. Space is limited, so sign up quick. Any student 16 years or older interested in training to become an EMT should stop in the guidance office for more information. Classes will be held at Geisinger Medical Center in Danville beginning on Tuesday, January 18th. There are several announcements from the Teen Center. Tutors are ready to meet with you and help with any homework needs. Tutoring and homework assistance are free and available from 3 to 7 p.m. Monday through Thursday. Snacks and drinks are provided. Also, the Teen Center is starting a support group for any student in grades 7 through 12 who may want to join for safe weekly discussions moderated by youth counselor and by other teens. Well, that's it for today's episode. To conclude, we'll leave you with the birthdays. Happy birthday to Christopher Baez, Grace Hidley, and Damian Sponenberg. <laughs> Thank you.